Uh, I'm gone. Oh, I'm gone. Ground, con ground control is streaming. Oh, oh, oh my god. I mm -hmm. love the new stories. <laughs> what? Oh, you'll see. Oh, the ones I posted? Well, on Florida.com, but I didn't see the ones you posted. Uh, the ones yet. I posted were some of the more recent ones, like the, uh, uh, guy that ripped the urinal from the bathroom wall and ran naked oh. into the woods. <laughs> this castle scares me sometimes. What? Do you have an evil laugh sometimes? But anyway, yeah. Bunny, what is this? Well, I'm trying to figure out why it's still called Diarrhea Source Rex. <laughs> oh, I'm not that. That was. Okay, that was no, it was just in the link with the. Okay, sorry, stupid Twitter. Ah, it is Monday Madness Menagerie Season 2, Episode 2! Two. Yay! Yay! Woo! Which means, mmm, wine. <laughs> <laughs> Did you spill it? No, I dropped the laser pointer and went for my glass. He's uh... like, mmm, wine, spilt wine. Shit! <laughs> no! I hope I don't fucking spill it because I only have one wine glass. The other ones are like, I make Sam drink from those wine glasses because they're not wine glasses. I don't know what they are. Alcoholic Big glasses. Oh, it's not like the rules <laughs> Alcoholic glasses. Oh, no, I just, I like my one wine glass. I'm good. Uh, so yeah, we're going to start doing things a bit differently so we can get more to the fun. So does anybody have anything fun they want to share about their week? I will go. Go ahead. So, uh, this week all I did was, uh, finally build my computer fridge, guys, so that means I'll be able to play more on, like, uh, when we do stream nights. I'm already okay. featured on Wolf's channel, and I hope I can do more. Fuck Wolf's channel! <laughs> <laughs> Just for the furry <laughs> shit. Don't <laughs> <laughs> make me sad now. But yeah, that's... Fun. But that's all I've done this week. Uh, just, you know, uh, first thing that computer. he has to do is play Doki Doki all the way through. Oh, I've yep, seen what happens now. I don't want to play it anymore. We still you gotta play it. Nope, you gotta we have it. to. No, we nope, we started it. this together, and, and we're gonna finish it. it. Damn it! <laughs> okay. But yeah, that's all I've got. Anyone else got anything interesting? Uh, t tonight, uh, one of the uh, <laughs> my tonight is gonna be a good night. <laughs> no, one of the customers the came up tonight? to came up to the register, and we had to refund him. Uh, money for his pie because apparently it tastes like shit. Quoting him, he, co he comes I over pie. and there's th there's three of us, uh, and we're standing there just talking. Next thing this guy comes up and he goes, it shows us the pie, and we're like, can we help you? And he goes, yeah, this pie tastes like shit. And oh, you we're, know what we're shit tastes dying like. inside from trying not oh. to laugh. We're holding this shit. You know and, what shit tastes like, sir? Missed opportunity. And we had to refund him the money for the pie. Oh. But I was, My mom got my juice with zero away. fucking nicotine in it. What a bitch. <laughs> Sorry. What? But anyway, that, that's, that's, that's <laughs> what happened. My night. Uh, yeah. Anyone else? Okay. Mom got well, me vape juice that's lychee flavored, and I just realized it has no nicotine in it. Why would I want to do that? Um, Flavors are cool, but I'll just eat candy. That's kind of the idea. Eh? Anyway. All right, yeah, sorry. Anyone else got anything before we move on? No. No, nope, nope, just I a so I did, hate I did nothing. Just, just a stress-filled, angry week. You don't want to right, then, I guess, it, I guess you know what time <laughs> is for. Uh, Wolf, why don't you do a jingle? She's like, what? Huh? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Was, already? Uh, already? I'm trying, I'm trying to <laughs> I know. It's like Adam's family. It's so quick. Derpier. Meme of the week. Meme of the week. <laughs> it's that time for the meme of the week. Fucking yeah. hope to remember it, right? <laughs> yeah, I did. I'm going to send you the Adam Sings song every uh, Monday so you know. No, I know. When she mentions that it's related to the Adam's family jingle. Then she's like, no, no, no. Name of the week. Doesn't. She almost sounded like a fucking week. Sims character. Name of the week. 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 Bork, bork. That being said, wine and chocolate don't really go good together to me. Yeah, they don't. Aren't they, aren't they supposed to? I'm, I'm not really into wine. Whoa. I don't know. Yeah, sorry. I was trying. We got, we got that 12,000 Bork power. 
Uh, this doggo is a good boy engine 3000. Heckin' vroom vroom, bruh. It's a good boy. I like how it doesn't yeah, say it's bruh, a good boy. she just said it. <laughs> it's a dog it's a singing boy. in the front of it's, a car. It's a good boy. <laughs> it's a good boy. Good boy. Much good boy. Bork. Okay, that's that Bork. That's much much Bork, good boy. Much Bork. Okay, oh. let's see what Fishy says. Child be condemned. That's what I keep telling you. Been in the fucking in the Discord for like a week now. Oh yeah. There we go. It has been placed what's, on the what's wall. What's been in Discord? Bedbridge Farm. Remember. The meme that makes me laugh. Oh. oh. That makes him feel funny inside from laughing. Jesus. <laughs> Excuse me, Jesus. Funny. You're in the way. Fuck you. Lie, I am the way, said Jesus. <laughs> You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Christian memes are good. Damn it, Tyro. I know you took it. That's, I, found, <laughs> I, I, know, but I found that uh, Fresh fresh Beats one. Yeah. <laughs> For those interested in that are in Discord, that Tyrone Jesus meme, I literally just Googled Jesus meme. Made me piss myself laughing. Ta da! That's it. That's all I got. Uh. <laughs> Rob, you ready for the weather? Or do we do Scarecrow first? It's so quick. No, we do Rob. No, we could. No, we do me then, and then Scarecrow. That's All right, fine. everybody but... do Rob. <laughs> this is moving so. along. <laughs> I love it. We, no, we, we do Rob. No, we then. do me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, more time for Florida man, I guess. Uh, 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 talk about the weather report. Oh yeah. <laughs> I know, like I it's know. shorter every week. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about the weather report. Oh yeah. It's like everyone's making it shorter. They're like, oh, we're short on time, and then we're like, oh shit, we got more time. There should be more to that though. Hey, I'm bouncing around. <laughs> dink, 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 dink. No, not choosing who to screw, Minnie. No, um, it's already been dictated. We all screw Rob. He said so. His consent. Yeah, I, I mean, I'll, I'll I just be the cameraman. I, I just rob in the corner fucking himself. <laughs> <laughs> just leave me alone. Uh, I'm almost finished. Don't just close my eyes. You, you fuck me. I fuck me. <laughs> God you fuck me. me. I'd fuck me. Uh, up here in the great northwest, Portland, Oregon. <laughs> currently 48 degrees. My movie. Wow, it's actually warm up there. Fuck you. Yeah, it's no, it, no. Seriously, it's like all weekend. It was like fifty-five degrees, beautiful it's sunny been like weather. Twenty-five to fucking thirty-two. It's been, it's it's been, well, been there's like two robs. Yeah, up here, up here, it's been like. <laughs> Why is I guess he's really gonna fuck himself. <laughs> 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 You see this thumb right here? <laughs> I'm gonna right back here. <laughs> think Thun's dying. Oh, yeah. I think we've killed oh, Thun. Thun? I'm alive. Thun, you alright? I'm alive. Hey, where, where are we again? <laughs> we just um, did oh, one fuck fucking no. thing. <laughs> which is, like, literally north. You see Salem right there? Oh, we're doing just you, north yeah. Just north there. there. But, up there, yeah. yeah. yeah so the same so, with Charles Worth. So, oh, I wasn't sure who you were no, starting with. Salem was in Massachusetts, man. Yeah. That's a I different know. Salem. God, the capital get of Oregon right. is Salem, and then north of there, like right up to the border, I is see. Portland. I right. See. Right there. Right, exactly. Right where my thumb is. My thumbnail is right at Portland, Oregon. Perfect. Right where my thumbnail is. Rob's so big happy. thumb is just fucking him in real life. He I'm, looks up and he's like, hi, thumb. I got my thumb on <laughs> Portland right now. <laughs> However, Norman, Oklahoma. Can you see this shit right here? Do you see this shit? Norman, Oklahoma. Can you believe this? 18 uh, degrees. Which is actually cold. 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 Eight, it's cold. Actually, you know what? 18 degrees would be all right, except we had really bad wind here, and that made it yeah, so much worse. Yeah, no, it's been windy worse. here, too, but it's been, like I said, it was like 55 no, no, degrees, no. so it's like Like, nice. I was sitting in my car, like I always do for my break, having a cigarette, and I thought someone backed up into my car and hit me. I got out, and I was like... Oh, it was the wind. Shit. Like, it's <laughs> <Jesus>. bad. <laughs> it, it made the force of a... Damn. It, it, it yeah, got it colder just... Than, <sighs> and I was like... Whoa! It got colder than Ohio, actually, which is mm. uh, quite something. Ohio, by the way, date, up in Dayton, Ohio, 27 degrees. 
still Shit, pretty cold. That's rare for uh, Oklahoma to be uh, colder than I'm us. I'm really, really yeah. hoping that Thune's area or Fish's area is colder because I don't want to be the coldest state this month or this week. It's going to be the same I... as you uh, tomorrow. So, uh, yeah, I think Marietta, it's going to get Georgia, colder tomorrow. Marietta, Georgia, over there, 34 degrees. So, yeah, it's it's great. almost freezing. About freezing. It's supposed to snow. It's supposed to snow tomorrow for us. So. Is it? That's what they claim. <laughs> if it rain here, it's yes, it is snow. what they claim. I was like, when I'm the weatherman, I should know. Oh, yeah, it was hailing here Friday, and, that was and then it. after that, just sunny weather. It was hailing here Friday, and that was a bitch to work. So for. we'll see about that. No, Rob, uh, you're a true weatherman. You're not what? very sure, like every other weatherman, where it's going to snow. They just talk out there. It, so it's it, like, you know it what? might. All right, in Georgia, it might snow tomorrow, but you know, the rest of the week looks pretty sunny. So. I don't know if you it's know what? I don't think it's gonna snow. When I was a kid, I thought snow was God sending a cloud jerking off on the ground. <laughs> of course. Oh, I'm not kidding. Jesus. I really thought that. I believe you. And then over in the UK, Clacton on Sea. You got that one already? Six degrees Celsius over Clacton on Sea. So it's actually warmer. Fuck! We yes. lose this week! No! Not as warm as Portland. Apparently, so, Portland's right. the warmest, while Oklahoma's the coldest. Ba, 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 ba. Yes. Mm. Global warming, people. Fuck. Global warming. Yeah, yeah Rob. Fuck that Clacton. Fuck it! <laughs> Fuck that with my- th that's my thumb- I'm gonna thumb it. I'm gonna thumb I'm that gonna Clacton. Thumb it. Oh yeah, he's actually- he's actually on the map. <laughs> oh yeah? Is it? Yeah. Oh yeah? It says uh, it right there. Portland's not on the U.S. map. I right guess that's above your mostly, thumbnail. Uh... Clacton on scene. Oh yeah, I see it. Hello. I think now we'll take it to Scarecrow on the scene. Um... I still don't have a scene. <laughs> I'm really... looking at this map. I'm like, dude, it's... Manchester's way far away from you. How the fuck do people yeah. think you're from there? <laughs> I don't know. Like, they come from fucking Manchester. I don't fucking know. <laughs> Alright, Jack, that's the guy that, chill. That's, Jack's from Ireland. That was. He that sounded was like he was Irish! That no, was, that, that that's was a proper, proper fucking overdone Irish accent! Irish oh, accent is his Jack Sepp today. Jeff Sepp today, type of guy, if I. Top of the morning, TL. Yeah, a fucking shove a potato up your ass and make me happy. Potato. <laughs> and here in Oklahoma, it's just taters. <laughs> <laughs> oh, anyway, now I'll take it to Scarecrow live on the scene. I actually, for the week stories, I saw Minnie post something, and I, I got to hear Scarecrow say this. I'm going to try to do it as best she uh, typed it. <laughs> you can do it, I believe it, you. You got to yell it, too, because she wrote all caps. Oh, should I do? Let's see. All right, let's do this. <laughs> My fucking dick, guess what, y'all? <laughs> After waking and paying money for work, I finally got my taxi license. And better yet, oh I may be working this very week. I'm so excited. <laughs> and then Bush <laughs> says, don't let people puke in your care, car. Care? Don't let me- It could be in my no, car. No, no, no. no, that's the way I read it. That's the way I read it when I first saw it. I'm like, don't let people uh, puke in your care. <laughs> and then, um... Oh. So, and then Sky Lover says that could be uh, that become a new law, LMAO. And then yeah, because the topic said, of today is funny laws and states. Oh uh, yeah, because some laws of stupid, uh, some states have stupid laws. I forget which one was it here. I think it was um, you can't get a fish drunk. That's a that's an illegal. Fish thing isn't to gonna do. come visit you now. You know that. I'm gonna... right? <laughs> yeah, in Ohio, big old you can't wide get a fish mouth drunk. bass. Yep, that, nope. that's apparently something you can't do. <laughs> so no drinking here for you, fish. It's illegal. You have to be sober when you're in Ohio, so that's I gonna be your hell. I fish drunk no and I'm gonna fuck it. No fucking chance. <laughs> he gets the excuse to take Wolf out and get her drunk, he's going. What is with this taxi fish? What the fuck are you because doing? That's Minnie, apparently she's my, she's my oh, taxi. Oh, I get it, I you get know, it, alright. He's in the taxi. Ba -bum. Ba -bum. <laughs> 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 Ha <laughs> ha
So apparently, <laughs> but, yeah, the <laughs> <goes> <laughs> up for it. it's fine. So, She's a bad driver. <laughs> <laughs> bum, 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 so bum. Mini, <laughs> do you, you drive like a taxi, taxi, or do you use your own car like Uber and Lyft? I hope she drives like a one of those old. <laughs> <laughs> one, one, one of their one of their taxis. So I know with Uber and Lyft, you have to use you use your own car, obviously, but it, it has to be like a newer car. Yeah, someone, like, some people just like drive public. Sunroof! Sunroof! Wait, what? So, 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 when, when you flip, the black man. When, fish, when you flip the car around, it says, yep. Ixat. It's <laughs> 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 the new Uber. Ixat. 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 Exact. You want so to that steal our idea? We're using this. Uh, we're gonna make a new business called Exact. <laughs> anyway, that it's time for our main event of the evening. Lord, I'm I don't even know how long we've been streaming. <laughs> it's illegal to not long as long as we usually do. Like no, we gotta good. be like way ahead of time. I'm very tired. So deal well, with it. How long has it been? Yeah, Sixteen minutes. Sweet. Yep. Illegal to paint a wooden ladder. What? I think I read. No, I was reading. I, I don't know if it was an Oregon law or a Washington law, but it was illegal to be sucking on a lollipop. Fucking weirdos. Yes. <laughs> I don't freaking pump I don't think gas it was an and Oregon your goddamn law. lollipops. I think that sounds like a Washington law. Washington is very weird. <laughs> this coming from Oregon. Stupid laws. <laughs> anyway, hey, guess what is that time of the day? It's story time with Florida Man. Yay. Woo! Uh, so that's the first story, but all, I would like to direct everyone's attention, especially <laughs> Fish, to FloridaMan.com's Instagram. Have fun, it's a canvas for you. I love Instagram. Uh, man, man whips Fuck it. full <laughs> rack of ribs out of his pan. He whips his meats back and forth, he whips his meats back and forth. <laughs> oh, <laughs> This is slathered in barbecue sauce. Whoa, a guy got arrested for mooning a school bus? Shh. Oh, sorry. A 26-year-old we'll man was arrested after a report. After a report, he removed a full rack of ribs from his waistband. An affidavit states. Uh, the man accused, December 15th, of pulling pilfered meat from his pants was identified <laughs> by Martin County hey, Sheriff's that. deputies. Shh. As Mel... Mainly, mainly a oh fuck it. Big damn you. <sighs> Dude's brain no work. You pronounce this shit. Look at his name and see if you can do. This. I can't. I'll just see. blank the text I just the out. I need canvas. Let's call it yeah, Alvarez. Yeah, mainly Alvarez. I got the first name. Ma Eddie Alvarez. Name. Alvar Ma Hang on, isn't that the anyway, uh, isn't that the UFC fighter? Alvarez. I don't know, but he's from Indiana Town. He's 26. A sheriff's Indiana uh, Town. Yes, that's what it says. Indian Town. Oh, fuck me. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> I'm reading this too fast. A sheriff's. Shut up. A sheriff's uh, sergeant reported spotting Alvarez. Ex what? Spotting him. Exit. Oh, I see. Spotting him exit Ryan's Market IGA about 6:15 p.m. before plucking the ribs. Oh my god! Plucking which the ribs? Yeah. Which <laughs> which typically <laughs> are high in fat and great in taste from his trousers. Uh, no, it's There's unclear like whether. Plucking them like flowers, <laughs> I mean, like picking flowers from his dick. I guess I mean, they, they were delicious. I love how he just stole my gimmick. <laughs> Until he shoved them down his pants. I mean, uh, I do, he I brined them with... in ball juice. I mean, I do the same with him, but you don't see me be on Florida.com. Brian and Valjus, enjoy. Yeah, that happened. Um, a further search yielded two packs of ham- Oh my god. <laughs> two packs of hamburger buns, nine pieces of fried chicken, and some mashed potatoes. All, all of which investigators <laughs> say he procured using the five-finger discount. <laughs> um, you know, I'm I'm cool with all of those except mashed potatoes. Like, how did where did it, it, was a, it was a picnic in his pants. <laughs> <laughs> Here, honey, have some mashed potatoes. I think yeah, I got barbecue. most of the pubes out. Yeah. Oh, oh, I got barbecue yeah. sauce on my dick. <laughs> oh, to the urethra burns! Ah! <laughs> oh, no. oh, oh, God. Anyway. Uh, 
Alvarez is not accused. Wait, he is not accused of keeping a uh, a corn. I I'm not gonna what what. What? <laughs> He's not accused of kipping a, cornucu- a corncopia of oh. cum c- cum guy. Um, Too many c- c- words. Guy. All I hear is cornucopia of cum. Yeah. <laughs> a cornucopia of cums cum test cum st- oh, fuck. It. <laughs> it's freaking don't, all even. Don't hurt yourself. But plenty of of <laughs> plenty for picnic. Uh, holy shit! <laughs> Too many c words. Well, one of them was a case, so still too many serious, but I don't give a damn. Well, and there were no reports of condiments such as barbecue <laughs> sauce or ketchup, condiments. or beverages such as soda or water based being stolen. <laughs> no, 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 are they muscles? Those are hand <laughs> Investigators <laughs> supported. Yeah. I got a six Reves- pack of buns! Wait, wait. Investigators, investigators reported that he smelled of booze and was intoxicated. No he way. He was arrested on retail theft charge in connection with <laughs> the 3249 <laughs> Oh my god. Back. <laughs> <laughs> what a next story. Oh man, it's worse when you look Where? back at his fucking computer because the monitor's so huge and you see this monstrous fucking meat man. <laughs> <laughs> monstrous meat man. <sighs> oh god. There's yeah, the next story. He probably story. didn't need condiments because he's just like, I got my special sauce, baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it's, just a bit hard, it's just a bit hard to get out. I'm surprised. <laughs> uh, hard. I'm surprised the reporter didn't take take advantage of that and do that. But anyway, oh my god, his teeth. Um, next yeah, story. Bad teeth. Uh, <laughs> man ripped urinal from restaurant bathroom wall, ran away naked into the woods. <laughs> what? No, I just no. Want to think... Did he take the urinal with him? Uh, we'll find out. <laughs> into the see. woods. Tallahassee police officers are sur- They're still looking for her. <laughs> <laughs> this is possible. This was published, mind you, at 6.13pm on January 9th. Tallahassee police They're officers still- They are fucking st- gave up. Who wants to find naked guy <laughs> running through the woods? <laughs> the urinal. They're they searching for a man who, who they say ripped a urinal from a bathroom wall Monday night at Miller's Ale House and then streaked into the woods. Staff at the sports bar on a, on uh, Ala, eh, Ala, I always said Apalachi oh. Parkway told police the man told told police the man who was described as being in his twenties entered the bathroom about 11 p.m. when he emerged a few moments after or a few minutes <laughs> when he emerged a few moments later. Sorry. He was soaked in water. The man ran from the building north through the parking lot while taking off his clothes, according to the police incident report. An employee who watched the man run away said he was completely naked when he disappeared into the woods line. His clothing was not found. Wait, so he hit... Uh, whatever. He, surveillance... was already, he was already there naked. Yep. Uh, <laughs> surveillance no, surveillance uh... videos was provided to the officers. The man is wanted for criminal mischief. So they're still looking for this well, man. I mean, honestly, hold on. One, he's in the woods. No one wants to find a naked guy in the woods. Two, he ripped the fucking urinal off a wall. Well, That's a yeah. lot of strength. Oh, wait. Yo, he yeah. handed it? Oh, oh no. yeah. No, that... Fuck it. I'm not finding him. Hey, he tore that thing off like it was nothing. <laughs> like a fish shows him running well. Peep! <laughs> <laughs> in the urinal. In the urinal. So, so... What? No, I gotta go, go, bye! <laughs> yeah, they didn't find the man's clothes, but they didn't find the urinal either. He that's shoved them all in the urinal like and ran off with, with them, apparently. <laughs> yes, the urinal. It is, the urinal is now this. his hobo backpack, is what out. it is. It's out in the forest. Uh, third story. Um, somebody <laughs> probably heard Bunny say. Uh, cops don't turn other cheek in fanny flashing caper. Uh, Fort Pierce, a man accused of flashing his fanny at people, was arrested, and it doesn't appear deputies had to work their butts off to do so. Oh God, puns, but according no. to the affidavit. The case of the reported de- uh, derriere displaying dude happened December 20th. A St. Lucie County uh, Sheriff's de- eh, deputy was sent to the area of 
<laughs> Area of Avenue. Stop, we need a P2. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, 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 yeah. He's pissed himself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sadly, that's my school color. Oh. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Damn, blue and yellow. Uh, he was, uh, Area of Avenue Q Mine and North white. 39th wait, wait, Street. Wait, wait, Avenue Q? Avenue Q. Yeah, Avenue Q <gasps> and North oh, 39th Street. Oh, there's an actual place, Rob, we gotta go. It's in Florida. What no. What the yep. fuck's with that car? Uh, for Whoa. a report, I don't know, for a report of a man flashing his butt at people. Displaying the buttocks. The fleshy... Plumbus the fleshy, mobile. Displaying the buttocks. What? <laughs> Plumbus mobile? I'm sorry, excuse me? Don't you know what it, a plumbus well, is? It's a plumbus. Rick and What's Morty. Yeah. Follow uh, I, Whatever. Anyway. Or we could just say rib for her pleasure. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, anyway, the pro turp, turp rinses. Ugh, I'm fucking things up. Blow the lower back. Uh, I missed something there. Is a practice informally known as mooning. It generally is considered a show of defiance or disrespect. The accused rubber Or just funny. No, yeah, it, it, that's just, why we all did funny. it when we were kids. We thought it was hilarious. The accused rump revealer was described as a black man wearing <laughs> a black shirt. <laughs> as a black guy. And, 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 and dark jeans. And purple hair. Wait. <laughs> no, he's got oh. plumper's hair. Oh, wait. Purple oh, hair, never mind. Oh, okay. Investigators found a man matching the description of identifying him as 44 year old Alvin Wilson. A witness. Alvin! <laughs> Well a witness. Sad. God damn it! <laughs> a witness has evidently helped the police get to the bottom of things. Oh, all the freaking puns, please! He said he was driving on Avenue Q <laughs> and saw a man with his pants below his buttocks. The witness reported both cheeks were in plain view. A deputy if he reported. Was gay. That would be porn. okay. <laughs> <laughs> the deputy reported dispatchers. Uh, got two calls on the same black male flashing a school bus. Wilson of the 1700 block of North 37th Street in Fort Pierce was arrested on disturbing the peace charge. Wouldn't he be charged with um, indecent exposure instead? It's just his butt, man. <laughs> I, you can have your butt out. Have you seen people wear thong bikinis? I it's wish a I butt. didn't. Someone should, he should have been arrested. He was well, showing his butt. Kids wait, wait. Have other you people I butt? think... Wait, it's it's Nickelodeon. But Bun, I think what it's happened was black neighborhood. I think what happened was that he showed his more than just his butt. He oh, took so his he underwear off too. Oh, so too far and gave the whole fruit bowl. So yeah, oh. everybody saw the apple <laughs> and banana as well. <laughs> oh, the, apple, the apples and bananas. He gave them yep. the goat. That's yep. great. Man, last story. Wait. Last. Last. I was okay. saying, I think we have plenty of time. I'm, yeah. I'm so <laughs> used to just reading four stories. The nose, right? But here's yeah. the next story. Miami man claimed he ran an onto airport runway because he couldn't read. Police say. Oh, yeah, this I was the one read. Rob was going off about. Yeah, because I was like going. I, I can't even imagine. Like, Don't you <laughs> see the planes coming at you? I uh, can't read. Really, what did I say? That's a 41... just common knowledge, man. Oh my god. A 41-year-old Florida man who allegedly ran onto the runway at Miami International Airport Monday told police he had done so because he didn't know how to read, the Miami Herald reported. Gregory, <laughs> excuse me, Gregory Burns <laughs> told <man>. police <laughs> Gregory, uh, Gregory Burns told police he had made his way onto the runway onto runway 9 because he couldn't read, but police said he ignored verbal warnings. The Herald reported, citing the arrest report. A police officer wrote in the report that Burns told officers that he thought it would be faster to cross the runway rather than go around. Yeah, you guys got a point. Um, okay. <laughs> Burns is currently being held at Miami-Dade County's Turner- Mr. Burns. <laughs> Yes, Mr. Smithers. Mr. Smithers, I'm going to cross this runway. I didn't uh, know yes, Mr. Sir. Burns was black, but all right. <laughs> Turner Guilford Knight Correction Center. Let's say Burns. Good enough. Uh -huh. Only... 
On a $1,500 bill facing a charge of unlawful injury in restricted areas, local 10 reported. Miami, uh, Miami International Airport has uh, had another in uh, recent instance of someone breaking through a restricted area last September. The Herald reported a 34-year-old man from Mississippi had crashed his car through an airport gate, scaled a fence, and dared police to shoot him when they eventually confronted him in, an in, an uh, in an electrical room. He allegedly lunged at an officer, who then shot back at the man twice. The man was injured and rushed to a hospital. He survived. Okay. <laughs> at least he lived. <laughs> well, yes. Uh. Uh, wait, what? Did I read this one? Florida man who pulled pants down in senior home arrested again for more drunken antiques. <laughs> I think you read the, the original one, because I remember Again? The... Again, Again. Yeah. So this is... I don't remember this, but oh sure, why not? No, I th I think he read the original one when he was arrested the first time, but I don't, oh, read, so read he's this one though. So he's making a comeback. All right. Oh, he's comeback a first repeat offender. Yep. No, first he's repeat not the offender. You know he's not. Remember, freaking, uh, crack man who wanted to go to Tito crack Watts? planet. Tito uh, Watts. Thank oh, you. Oh, I miss Tito Watts. Tito Watts was the repeat, to Tito? first repeat offender. He's I, he's probably still in jail, wanting to go to crack planet. <laughs> <laughs> what about his baby alligators? Do you think they ever found a home? Uh, probably in a swamp somewhere. Or even What are you snakes. doing in my swamp? Fucking trying to get away from that bitch. Anyway. This is an 80 year old man. Holy shit. Yep. Uh, Sebastian man arrested <laughs> again for, for disorderly intoxication. Sebastian, Florida. The same man who pulled his pants yep, down at a senior living facility in Vero Beach is back behind bars. Yep, yep. Uh, uh, after, yep, after another incident involving alcohol, according to the Indian River County Sheriff's Office. Sorry, um, Jeremy Michael and Avant, Avant. Oh, yep, that's him. I remember his last name now. That's surely him. Thirty-seven, who was just arrested last week in Vero Beach, was charged again for disorderly, disorderly intoxication on Wednesday, January third. Deputies were called by employees at a Bell's department store located at fifty-nine hundred twentieth Street in B reference to Bales. a subject. Bales. Bales. Uh, <laughs> that's what it looks like. Bales. They could call me Bales. It does. Uh. In reference to a subject bothering customers, the report said. The store manager said Avant was harassing customers, staff, and urinating outside near the store, according to the arrest affidavit. He appeared to be very intoxicated. Deputies made contact with Avant, who became unco un uh, uncooperative, and slurred his words when he spoke. The arrest... Why does it keep ending in the arrest affidavit say? We get it. The defendant became upset and then stood up from a seated position and bowed in front of the in front of me and began cussing uh talking loud and making a scene as customers walked into bells uh the, 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 the deputy is said, that what the arrest affidavit said yep the, no the de <laughs> the deputy said this one this time <laughs> Avant was arrested and transported to the Indian River County Jail. According to jail records, Avant was sentenced on Thursday, January 4th, to 20 days in jail and is expected to be released again on Friday, January 19th. Last April, Avant was arrested after he was intoxicated at the AMC Theater and making cat calls to teenage girls while in the theater. Disclaimer, arrest mugshots were made public by complaint... Uh, eh. By complaint <laughs> affidavits, arrest affidavits. Uh, you know what? Fuck it. I'm tired of saying yeah, affidavits. Fuck it. Yeah, it's, it's Sebastian. Every oh, time there's someone. Good. And also, too, I got to point out every time uh, someone's arrested in Sebastian, they put that black like sheet over them that Fish is drawn on. It's like. I don't know why. Like he's getting yeah. his hair cut. Hmm? <laughs> like this one has no picture, <laughs> but you'll have to read it because it sounds funny. Okay. Oh, that does sound funny. Oh, fish could do a, fish could do a picture to that. <laughs> fish could do a picture to that. I'm not even gonna look at it. When like it I says. had to I'm like read over this. it just to make sure it was somewhat funny. It is. It's good. Well, I gotta see what he's finishing. Just sadly, I couldn't find one with a picture. So you have to say like picture. he's getting his hair cut, didn't you? Oh, just, well, <laughs> you know, they put they put that sheet over everybody, like in all the mug shots at Sebastian. So, um. Put your trap in freezer. Use a sausage to bash this way out. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, now don't I mean, it's been in the freezer, so it's pretty solid. <laughs> so it could work. 
Wait for it. London. A British butcher <laughs> who got locked in a freezer says he was saved by a frozen sausage that he used as battering his ram. As his as, as battering. Oh, oh my god. Give me a second. Oh god. Um, Chris McCabe. I guess I said that right. I don't. Macabre. What That's very Macabre. Okay. I would have <laughs> said. Chris Macabre. Thank you. Uh, says he became trapped in the walk-in freezer at his shop in Totnes. Tot. I'm probably saying this wrong. Fish is the crazy. No, oh, I'm oh, covered over it. Right. Soon, soon just literally got off. T O T N E S. I'm loading it up again. NES. Totnes? Wait, what? Totnes. 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 Yeah, Totnes. Totnes. Okay, cool. Totnes, Southwest England. Why is there a Whatever. Uh, last month... Never when, heard of Totnes in London. No, I have not. I've actually never heard of Totnes in London. Um, last month, when wind blew the door shut, the safety button open, uh, to open the door had frozen in the minus 20 Celsius, that's minus 4 Fahrenheit, chill. Uh, Macabre said he tried un uh, tried unsuccessfully to kick the button free before picking up a 1.5 kilogram, 3.3 pound black pudding, a form oh, of blood sausage. That's horrible. Yeah, blood sauce, Yeah. Uh, Macabre told told website Devin Live that he used the meaty tube like a battering oh. ram. <laughs> oh Jesus oh, Christ! Oh, the tube. <laughs> <laughs> and managed to unstick the button after several blows. They got a meaty, meaty tube. Meaty tube and several blows. Okay. <laughs> the Grateful Butcher told the Daily Mirror, Black Pudding saved my life without a doubt. And that's the end of that story. <sighs> I got another one for you. Okay. Blood I actually have two. Yeah. You want one that has a video and a picture? Or one that does it's short but has nothing? Video and picture. We probably have time for both. No, you know what? You're doing the one without a picture because it's not as funny, but still humorous. Okay. If Fish can finish his drawing, well, you read this one because it's like two sentences long, but it's really funny. Is that a hula hoop? No, it's the blood sausage. There's a bad oh, oh, okay, 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 okay. I knew what he was doing. We didn't expand the show that weirdos in other countries do. French police stopped drunk driver 73 after 17 spins around the roundabout. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> In Paris, a French man who drank excessive amounts of alcohol and then drove 17 times around a roundabout said he had not heard the sirens when police finally brought him to a halt. Oh, the just dizzying... 17? Yep, just 17 times. <laughs> The dizzying drive was not the 73-year-old's first offense of its kind. Uh, France newspaper, which reported the tale... Oh, fuck it. Freaking French words. Fish gets started on the next one, because the next one's said, awesome. Said of the incident in Brittany, Western France, and so we got his license confiscated, and now he's probably not going to be able to drive again. Yeah, I just next thought it was a short and sweet, because the next one is really funny. Only in Russia with some shit. <laughs> wait, wait, Russia? We're going Russian to Russia? man, wait, Russian man rams armored personnel carrier into shop, steals wine. There is a video. This wine is delicious. This man, you can see this freaking armored personnel carrier, as it says, in front of the wine shop. It's a tank. It, it fucking. Whatever. Only in Russia. I mean, Moscow. you could own that legally in Russia, right? I guess. Yeah. A man, <laughs> a man rammed an armored personnel carrier into a shop window before climbing through the rubble to steal a bottle of wine in a town in northern Russia. With just one morning. bottle? That's I a guess, lot of damage for one, one bottle. I would have right. stole a lot more. Make it worth it. Yeah, I, th I was under the impression he was stealing, like, cases. Oh, God. They showed a picture oh, hang of a car. Hang on. Hang on. Before you read any further, because, like, my hand is hurting. I'm drawing that fast. <laughs> like, I need to have a drink. Uh, let me just pour myself a shot right here. This <laughs> oh is playing on his screen. Oh, fucking hell. Uh, <laughs> I was like, what the fuck was he doing? Wait, wait, all I need to do for this one. Wait, 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 wait. Hey, look at that. Nonsense. I need black. black. Okay. Uh, I see snow and what's... 
And I see the personnel carrier. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> uh, whoa. Oh, is... <laughs> I, 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 soon as I saw... Why does it seem like something I do, though? As soon as I saw that, I was like, yep, he's saying it. <laughs> Fuck that bitch. This is Russia. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, drink. In Mother oh. Russia. You drive the thing into the wine shop and take him. Continue. Um, okay. The man had swiped the vehicle from a... Oh my god. Wait a minute. Hold up. They sell these all oh, privately, but still. Yeah. Training ground. Okay. The man had swiped the vehicle from a privately run motorsport training ground nearby, driven it through a forest and into a put. A, a, a oh, fuck it. I'm I'm too tired to bother and try this shit. Microsoft <laughs> hands. Do my job for him. All right then. Logic. Appetite. Petty. Uh, into appetite. 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 Okay. <laughs> That's what Fucking Microsoft and Microsoft apple titties. said appetite. Fuck it, it's apple titties. Apple titties. I'm fine it's with apple titties. Apple titties. Apple titties. That sounds. Unless you're the guy, please mm. don't come kick our ass. Obviously, you can do it. You have a tank and robbed fucking whites. <laughs> I have um, talking about he's got no chance again in, in this country. <laughs> 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 he's got he's multiple wrong. places to in hit us. In Mother Russia, wine steals you. <laughs> in Mother Russia, wine steals you. Love the accent. Uh, yeah, why, no you, why you do this? That, <laughs> that is not a Russian accent. You are fucking. You whore and your mother is whore. Why, why, why you to talk to me? Go white. away. Do not speak. <laughs> you almost, you almost, why do you have to be mad? He almost went Nigerian on a switch and was like, go away. You tell me oh, I'm, I'm Nigerian, but I'm not Nigerian. <laughs> Fucking fuck fuck's sake, like, wolf. I will, I will freaking, freaking wolf. I will freaking stab you <laughs> right. in your heart. You this is the shiniest rhinoceros I've ever seen. <laughs> oh my <laughs> gosh, that is the shiniest oh rhinoceros <laughs> I've ever seen. Anyway, we have to go back to the story. How many A small time. was that? Anyway, appetite, appetite, because everybody's saying appetite. Apple titty. A small apple town, titty. it's actually appetite, because that's what Microsoft and said, but whatever. A small oh. town just south of the Arctic Circle, <laughs> local news agencies uh, said. Struggling to turn around in the narrow street, the man who witnesses described as being drunk proceeded to slam the tank into the window of the family convenience store, the news agency says. I like how they have family in quotation. What are you doing in your tank, you dumb guy? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Uh, he yes, also my store. Give me wine first. No! He also... <laughs> Give me wine! No! <laughs> I shoot you in your head, you dumb guy. Who is driving? Dumb. Bear is driving! How can <laughs> I be? <laughs> Fucking... <laughs> See the bear? We are all bear on unicycle, yes? He loves so, so much, he just quoted clerks, but a very obscure fucking clerks. I know, I knew what I was doing, that's all that matters. I got you, I got Soviet you. Soviet Russia, best drive tanks. Uh, where am I? He also crushed a Daewoo, Daewoo car What's that? parts. Oh, I was like, what the fuck's a Daewoo? Daewoo car parts. But it's spell it, I gotta look this up. D-E-W-O-O, I'm actually curious too now. Oh. Woo! That looks like Jesse's car that he wrecked. That he wrecked. How did a mouth wreck it? Oh man. Wrecked him, damn near killed him. Oh, let's see. Oh, there's more. Probably. Footage shared on social media showed the man subsequently exiting the vehicle through its hatch, briefly inspecting the damage and entering the shop through the broken window. He was later arrested in possession of a stolen bottle of wine. Hibben form said. The shop was not licensed to sell alcohol that early in the morning. The agency added witnesses visible and the footage did not seem particularly disturbed by the incident. Basically, some guy stole an armed vehicle and went to a shop to top his stock in the morning. On social media, usually described whilst filming, filming the snow-covered scene on his, out of his window. The man is in his late 20s, did not resist arrest, our aid news agencies reported. Well, they're not dumb and fight the police. I like how I like how the reporters. I like I like what the bear's got the wine bottle. 
Uh, I like how in the in the news story they were just like nobody was really disturbed by this. It was just a guy who stole a tank. Yeah, it just you know it's Russia. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, that made sense. How many people own yes. tanks in Russia? Yeah. More than a they lot. like to admit. A hell of a lot. Uh, we read that one. Uh, what? <laughs> Wait, excuse me. But that's like asking Ed, uh, Americans how many uh, of us own beer and shotguns. Yeah. Where, what's yeah. our time now? Uh. 40, well, for 44 minutes, so we have got time for one more story. A few more. A uh, few more, okay. Uh, we'll, we'll see what happens. Um, yeah. Florida man booby traps door to electrocate a strange wife. Did, did we do that one? I, Someone I, watched Home Alone. I <laughs> did not. Electricity. Oh, what? You? Oh, I would kick you in the fucking face. <laughs> Maybe we didn't. Read it. I would have remembered it, 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 you. If Fish did a drawing with that, I would have remembered it. You asshole. What's this? This motherfucker right here needs to be shot. I remember sharing it though. Man uh, arrested yeah. for raking door in attempt to electrocute electrocute pregnant wife. Deputies say. Yeah, yeah, I remember <laughs> sharing that, but I don't think we've. I don't think Michael we've done it. Scott Wilson, 32, is being what held a on a hundred fifty k bond. <laughs> Sorry, that's like funny. <laughs> <laughs> Most people would just push it down the stairs, but he, he actually put some thought into it. <laughs> I mean, oh shit! <laughs> uh, cultural differences, they're funny, aren't lightning. they? Fish's thought process is yeah. he's not wrong. He put thought into this. <laughs> um, Flagler, Flagler County, Florida. Uh, Flagler County. Uh, my, eh, man is behind bars after he was accused of having rigged the door to his home in Palm Coast with electrical devices in an attempt to electrocute his pregnant strange wife. Deputies were called to the home on Whitehall Drive on December 26th to do a security check of the home after the father-in-law of the homeowner called to report suspicious statements from a 32-year-old Michael Scott Wilson. Deputies observed that the front door of the home was barricaded with burn with burn marks near the, uh, excuse me, with burn marks near the handle, when a deputy attempted to kick the door, they witnessed the booby trap, which possibly caused a large spark to appear, according to the report. Uh, according to deputies, the door was rigged with electrical devices on the top door door lock and lower door handle. If anyone was to attempt to unlock the door, officials said the devices could cause severe injury or even death. Wilson is accused of rigging, rigging the door to kill his pregnant estranged wife and stealing a firearm from his father-in-law's home. Wilson was found in Knoxville, Tennessee on Thursday and was arrested. He booked it as soon as he freaking booby-trapped the door. He was in Tennessee. Uh, fuck Tennessee. Burn. <laughs> what? I think I know where he's going with this. <laughs> is he going to... <laughs> oh, I, 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 I was just like, I was just like, I thought he was going Super Saiyan, but now I know who he ah, is. Spider Man, I am an educator. Oh God damn it! God damn you, Electro! <laughs> he is charged with two. He is charged with two counts of attempted aggravated bar battery, battery, battery on a pregnant person, murder. and one count murder, uh, and one count of grand theft of a firearm. Uh, this is one of the most bizarre domestic violence cases I have seen in my career, Sheriff Rick uh, Stately said. Not only did this man plan to electrocute his wife, but he could have injured a deputy or any person attempting to enter this residence. Thankfully, this man was found and taken into custody before he could cause the harm in he intended. Yeah, he ain't getting out anytime soon. He, they took him back to Florida, as, as he should be stuck in Florida. So, I have a challenge when I was... We're almost done with the stream. Okay. So the chance? let me know whenever you're. Are you done reading? Oh uh, yeah, that's the line. That was right. that story. Well, for those who know, Wendy's likes to fucking make weird comeback tweets, and I <laughs> thought it would be fun. Wendy's I is the love... most savage people I yeah. know. Tweet. I think we should all come up with one. Just try to get Wendy's to tweet back at you. We'll put it in Discord and laugh about it next fucking podcast. That goes for anyone watching this. And yeah. The thing is to try to get Wendy's to reply some weird fucking comeback just to see it happen because it'd be really funny. I don't know how I feel about <laughs> getting burned by Wendy's. I <laughs> think it'd be great. Wendy's. We could all be burned together. It's a bunny brigade challenge. Okay. <laughs> bunny brigade now, now challenge. I gotta get think burned of by tweet, Wendy's. Tweet yeah, I'm trying to think of one. Like I, I don't hate I don't, Wendy's. I, li I like Wendy's. I oh like no, I Wendy's love Wendy's. Too. I love it. Yeah, yeah. 
Never been. Wait. I know it's tweet. What? What? <laughs> Uh-oh. I feel left out. I, I can't think of anything. I think I'm, I'm think too something. nice. No. Yeah. You are not nice. If it was McDonald's, in, I would in have... In person, I can be savage as fuck. But when I'm, like, tweeting at someone, no, I'm too fucking polite. No, I'm... It, if it was McDonald's, it's not I a hairy would, dick. She ain't interested. <laughs> What? <laughs> oh, so I can't resist. Wait. What did you tweet? Store. I said, how do I get my British fiancé to go to your store? I crave your chili. <laughs> Fair enough. Bon, you would love us. Florida man known as Santley Jesus breaks into the vet clinic for free kittens. Yes! Do it. Hell yeah. Hold up. I have to find it first because it was on the Instagram. <laughs> And they did not put up like, shit. I want a frosty. I do too. And it's too late. I think that, what time do they close? Hold on. I don't know. Now I want to close at one here, so this should be the same Whoa. at yours. Like the dining room? Yeah, or not the dining room, the drive through <laughs> Oh, okay. Close it at one a.m. Fucking cool. Maybe I can go get a frosty. I don't want to drive, though. It's cold outside. <laughs> it's, it's freaking cold. I told you. I know, I was out there, it sucks. <laughs> dead, dead, feel, feeling, um, feeling <gasps> the dead air. Feeling. I like it's how loading. we have a windshield advisory. Yeah, it's, it's pretty cold. You know, it's like, some At people like to always say that Saturday. they dip their fries in the Frosty. I do. There you go. Do you get, do you dip fries in a Frosty? Yes. Sometimes. My mother does this, and it's gross. Not as good as dipping I, Brahms fries in a vanilla fry. Especially when it's my fry, fry uh, in milkshake. my Frosty, and I just want to fry my, my Wait, Frosty. <laughs> they haven't caught him either. Melbourne police seek clues to ID Sanfley Jesus after window broken at Pitt Hospital. Uh, Melbourne police are seeking clues from a beachside residence to identify Sanfley Jesus, a suspected cat burglar accused of shattering a window at Aloha Pet and Bird Hospital. Thursday afternoon, Melbourne police issued a news release describing the suspect as having a thin build, blah blah blah, we don't care what it looks like. The security video showed he was wearing a multicolored he was wearing a multicolored? Yeah, he was wearing a multicolored <laughs> yoga pants Tuesday night inside the pet hospital. Employees at the beach <laughs> Yes. Wait, you don't oh, care what he looked at? Looks like, look at this guy's hair, jeez. Oh my god. I just Wait a second, around it was say... a pet hospital? Why is they frank? They're there for treatment. I know. Now I'm just kind of like, why dick. would you do this that? This isn't funny. I, I thought so too until I got further Fuck into him. it. Was like... And he's wearing gay pants. They're rainbow colored yoga pants. He's fucking gay right, shit. Let's see what he actually, let's see what the, the how they uh, describe him. Catch him. He, is, he has a thin build, a beard, a must, a beard and a mustache, a long uh, dreadlock style uh, hair, and ponytails. That's doesn't. it. So he's a gay hipster that looks like Zorro. <laughs> <sighs> he looks like he has mutton chops. <laughs> it said beard. He looks like a bitch. Fucking beard. Well, there's the beard, but I don't see any dreadlocks. He's the first man. He's just got a fringe, and that's it. He's <laughs> a bald head there. Yeah, I was gonna say, I don't see dreadlocks, that looks bald. They lied. Bald, looks like he's got the bald. world's worst comb-over. <laughs> yeah, it does. I like my comb-over. Scarecrow. I like the comb-over. Scarecrow. Just you like, shut up. Uh, uh, where was this again? This was in, uh... Hold up. Oops, I closed the story. I'm sorry, this guy oh, died for a second. Damn it. it was in Melbourne. Melbourne? Melbourne. Florida? Uh, it's the only place I can think of because that's all it says. Melbourne Police or Melbourne. The only Florida. other Melbourne I can think of is fucking Australia. <laughs> yeah. I think there's one in Alabama or. or no, like I, I was gonna say, many as uh, here. There's like really strict laws on uh, veterinary practice. I've worked in a lot of them. No mistreatment. I mean, they may be like yeah, neglected no, and not loved on as much, but not mistreated in the vets over here. If Canadian vets are mistreating their animals, fucking kill them. <laughs> yeah, the no, only vets place that I don't like working don't is animals. at the pound, and even then, they treat them really well until they have to put them down. But that's just because they have high turnover. So yeah, and even yep. then, let's put down humanely. Oh, that guy's in a tutu. 
That side. <laughs> He's doing the pink tutu again. Uh, <laughs> awesome. It's beautiful. Well, except for the beard and the comb over. <laughs> Ways to get out of jury duty. Alrighty. Oh, wait, I think I saw that. Your random quote <laughs> for the night. Or random what? fact of the night from your book. Oh, oh yeah, you said you're going to do that. Oh, I don't know. I you know what else we could fish do? One like, the other day. We could like laugh oh, at something no. that's trending. That's it. It fucking bugged me, and I can't even remember what the fact was because it bugged me so much. Tires are spelled differently, and it really oh, that, weirded yeah. me out. Like that fact was really hard to read. I was like, "Why is it spelled like this?" Oh wait, no, I got a cool fact for you. Did you know? Do you know why we call it gasoline? Why? Why? Uh, it started here in the Americas, uh, called Kazaline, C A Z E L I N E. Um, however, over our, in British people land, uh, <laughs> called petrol. No, 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 no. He, a guy, decided to make his own Kazaline, but to not get hit with like uh, copyright and stealing someone's idea, he called it Gasoline, G A Z E L I N E. Um, of course, the guy over here heard about it, took him to court, and fucking won because. Da da! It's he obviously plagiarized and took a shit. However, people kind of picked up on saying gasoline and gas because it was just easier to say. So that guy kind of won because he got his name in it. But yeah. But also in that same story, uh, dunces are called that because there was a guy. Oh. <laughs> it was in the same fucking. Let everyone pack. catch up. Let everyone catch up. <laughs> oh, I want to be in that crowd. <laughs> Dev legs up. <laughs> um, but yeah, Dunces is because there was a guy, remember, his name was something Dunce, and he thought he was like a genius and pretty much a cult leader and had all these followers and shit, and he died. And people thought he was fucking nuts. And the people still followed him after his death, and they just called him, oh, those are the Dunces? And then it just became slang that Dunce meant stupid. Wow. So fun fact. Uh, dunce I is learned. another word for a leader, wow. a cult leader. Well then... That black motherfucker down in Sarasota, Florida is a dunce. <laughs> yeah. Oh boy. So now every time you call someone dunce, just think, ah, stupid cult leader. <laughs> <Or just stupid laughs> no, now cult I follower. know what that means. Either like way. in all those old cartoons, every time someone had to sit in the corner wearing a cap that said dunce on it. Yeah. Hey. Right. <laughs> that was an interesting fact. I really like this book, Fish Got Me. Best Christmas present, 10 out of 10. And you nice. said all I got was a book for Christmas. <laughs> I was trying to be funny. <laughs> 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 okay. hey, I didn't like it. <laughs> at least I'm easy to please. What? I said at least I'm easy to please. Uh, I'm a cheap date. <laughs> Glass of wine and a book. I'm good. <laughs> so yeah, that's been this podcast for, what is it, the 15th of January? Okay. Yeah. Season yeah. two, episode King, two, it is Martin done. Luther King Jr. Day at that. So yeah, uh, yeah. It's, it's and this is a commentary on the state of America at the minute. What? <laughs> what? Stop. We're not all. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, holy shit! Yeah. Okay, we should end now. Before... Oh wait, he has control. I can't end it. Yeah. Oh no! <laughs> no. Bye. Quick, flashing your boobs and distract him. It won't work. It, it won't work over. It won't happen. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Fish. Fish. Shut up. I ain't wrong, though, am I? <laughs> yeah. He's not. Uh, he's not. It's a sad, it's not. sad state of affairs. All right. Well, goodbye, everyone. Goodbye. Oh, yeah, have some week. Don't forget your challenge and post your weekly stories in the oh, Discord. Yeah. I'll be back with some games in a bit. Yeah. Maybe. 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 Maybe, maybe, maybe. Maybe. Depends on how much <laughs> wine I have and how tired I am. Show long. Uh, it sounds like you said shul. It sounds like you said long, but Tres. just slower. Dos. Uno. Uh,